हेलो फ्रेंड्स होप यू आर डूइंग वेल द लोगो ऑफ माय चैनल इज ई एंड ई मींस एंटरटेन एंड एजुकेट इन दिस रिगार्ड प्रायर टू दिस वीडियो आई हैव ऑलरेडी रिलीज थ्री वीडियोस व्हिच आर बेस्ड ऑन बॉलीवुड फिल्म इंडस्ट्रीज these three videos were very well appreciated and i got a very good response so after posting three entertaining videos now i am coming back to my technical videos and this particular video is on heat treatment of steel and the particular topic is defects in heat treatment of steel so this is series 3 of heat treatment steel and part 1 okay so in this series i will be telling about oxidation decarburization quench crack and distortions before i go to the main topic i'll just give you a flashback of my previous series on heat treatment the series 1 that was based on basic heat treatment processes which included iron carbon diagram ttt curves cct curves then basic heat treatment processes such as annealing normalizing hardening and tempering and in series 2 i described about various case hardening processes such as carburizing which is solid liquid or gas then induction hardening nitriding flame hardening all these thing i have covered in series 2 i request you to go to my channel jagdish shobe and go through this heat treatment with steel series 1 and series 2 wealth of information is there in this series 1 and series 2 okay so coming to the main topic that is defects in heat treatment of steel so in this i have selected the first one is oxidation first of all what is oxidation how it occurs okay in simple word oxidation means addition of oxygen to the metal surface whatever metal surface is there and by whatever mean you are depositing or adding oxygen on the surface then this becomes this process becomes oxidation process means addition of oxygen on the metal surface in iron oxide when it comes iron comes in contact with oxygen it forms 2 fe iron oxide basically this formation is there okay then in second case when co2 is there and iron comes in contact it again forms feo and co2 and when it comes in contact with h2o water vapors then again it forms feo and hydrogen so this feo is nothing but iron oxide which forms on the surface and if it is kept for a higher time it goes beneath the surface also so with these reactions the iron oxide which forms this feo which forms on the surface is the oxidized layer also known as scale having a rust color means in all these three reaction if you see whether it is o2 co2 or h2o iron oxide formation is there and this iron oxide is nothing else but it's a layer of iron oxide which is called again scale okay so this scale formation takes place on the surface and in case of heat treatment in the heat treatment of steel if the higher temperature and the longer time a heavier and thick scale on the surface is formed just like forging so in simple words this iron comes in contact with o2 comes in contact with co2 comes in contact with h2o these are all present in the furnace atmosphere okay and this forms iron oxide which is nothing else but it is a scale and which forms on the surface but if 
in during heat treatment if the temperature is very high and the part is kept for a long time then this scale formation is too thick it will be a heavy scale formation okay just like in forging industry if you see if any forging which is heat treated if it is kept on higher temperature and for a longer time you will see that lot of scale is formed which is after that salt blasted and all those things but the formation of iron oxide or scale is too much on the forging surface so this is all about oxidation of steel and how it forms what are the various reactions okay and depending on temperature and soaking time condition it may form a very thick and heavy scale on the surface now i'll move to the next so in this slide i am showing you the scale formation which is a very heavy scale you see this is the scale from here to here and this is the remaining body of the steel part total part is this and out of this this much has gone as a scale formation this is quite near to the surface this is middle and this is beneath the surface so this becomes a heavy scale formation if the temperature is high and the soaking time is also high so in this slide i am showing you the heavy scale formation on a steel part see this is the steel part entire body and because of high temperature and high soaking time this scale formation is too much it has gone if you see from here to here okay and the rest of the body is here so this much penetration is there from surface to inside the steel and if you see these are the various nature this is uh, if you see this is close to the surface then this is the middle area and this is the transition phase so this is entire scale formation is there so if it happens then so what are the disadvantages of oxidation particularly in case where there is a heavy scale formation okay first is loss of metal in the form of scale because iron is a metal coming into contact with oxygen and forms feo so there is a loss of iron also so loss of metal in the form of scale and the second one is loss of dimensions if a scale thickness is higher than the machining allowance in this case suppose this is the part and this much scale formation is there very scale formation if the part this particular dimension suppose it is 2 mm and the scale formation is almost 1 mm okay in case of this part if it is being machined and the machining allowance is only half a mm so whereas this scale formation is 1 mm machining allowance is half a mm then when this part is being machined this particular part will become undersized because the scale formation is too much and it will be a undersized production so these are the various disadvantages of oxidation particularly in case of very heavy scale formation okay let's move further so if that happens then how to prevent this oxidation because we have seen in the previous slide too many this slide as well because we have seen in the previous slide two disadvantages are there okay so to avoid this how to prevent this oxidation so first is isolation of parts to be heated from furnace atmosphere it means whatever part is being heat treated and if the furnace is there then you keep this particular part whatever that part is there in a separate box and then you keep it in the furnace in that particular case this furnace atmosphere having oxygen co2 and all those things it is not going to affect the part because it is kept in a separate isolated container okay so this will avoid oxidation of the part when it is heated so this is one 
area how you can avoid uh, the oxidation the second example is partial or complete removal of oxygen and other oxidizing gases from furnace atmosphere in this case also you remove the oxygen either partially or completely from the furnace atmosphere so that there is no oxygen left in the furnace and then when you go for heat treatment the part will not get oxidized so now the third point is use of protective gases under positive pressure to exclude oxygen entry into the furnace such as dissociated ammonia natural gas coco one gas etc this is the third procedure this is the third step where you can use protective gases these gases are like dissociated ammonia natural gas coco one gas etc these gases and they are kept in the furnace at a high pressure and because of high pressure oxygen entry into the furnace from outside will not be possible because inside the temp pressure is high of this protective gases and they will not allow oxygen to enter into the furnace and in this way the part is not oxidized so these are the three various ways in which you can avoid oxidation okay so in case of oxidation i have told you what is oxidation first of all what are the various reaction it takes place and what is this thick scale formation in what condition it forms okay what are the disadvantages and finally this prevention how you how you can prevent this oxidation by adopting these methods okay i hope that uh, this will be quite useful for all of you those who are involved in day to day heat treatment of their parts whether it is forging casting or anything and if you take these necessary precautions and try to avoid high temperature and high soaking time okay then the oxidation problem won't be there in generally i have seen in heat treatment if the temperature requirement is suppose it is normalized and the temperature requirement is 900 and people they don't care and the temperature goes up to 950 or 940 and maybe the soaking time is also very high then a large thick thick uh, then a large thick scale formation will be there and it will be almost like a burnt structure and it will give a very serious dimensional loss to the component okay so try to avoid uh, oxidation of the parts by adopting these methods whatever i have told you okay and take necessary precaution use this protective gases so that oxidation is minimized so with this i close the presentation hoping that this will be quite useful to all of you so if you find this is quite useful then please like and comment also on my video and if you are new to my channel i will request you to subscribe my channel because i will be giving various types of uh, videos on my channel whether it is entertaining or whether it is technical whether it is educational time to time you get all this information so for this you have to subscribe my channel so please subscribe my channel also and the next video or that part 2 will be on decarbonization so till then you wait for my next video till then Thank you thank you very much thanks a lot